I have another lovely young lady here. This is our third rhinoplasty of the day, fourth case of the day overall. Our first one was a brow lift. But uh, in this case, I want to show you the things that we need to take care of. Number one, the tip is a little bit bulbous. However, most importantly for her in terms of the tip, it is droopy. It looks like an arrow pointing down when she smiles. So we want to go ahead and make sure that that's supported so that it does not do that. She has this bump here and also the sides of her nostrils are a little elevated. They look flared. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that they are brought down so that she has a nice pleasing curvature to the sides of the nostrils. If the nose needs to be brought in at all, then we'll go ahead and do that at the end of the case, but it's possible that it may not need that at all once everything has been uh, nice and tightened as far as the cartilage is underneath. We have this dorsal hump exposed now. You can see with the nose open how apparent it is. The tip is not supported. We're gonna go ahead and make sure the tip is supported. You can see there's a common theme as far as um, effective functional rhinoplasty and also safe maneuvers, very uh, structurally sound maneuvers. We're going to make sure the tip is supported while we are reducing this bump uh, so that she has a nice profile line. Alright, we've gone ahead and taken down the uh, bony contribution to the dorsal hump. You can see in her there was not actually much contribution from the bone. It's mostly a cartilaginous hump. It's very similar still. There's a slight decrease in the prominence there. It's a little less projected from her face, but the main difference is gonna be seen when we take down the cartilaginous portion of the bone. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in the nasal bones. You can see the outlines at this point, uh, and I'll show you when uh, we have gone ahead and brought them in. I went ahead and brought in the nasal bones. You can see they're outlined before, and when I get rid of the swelling, you can see the nice contour, symmetrical on both sides, nice brow tip aesthetic line. Before this portion of the surgery, this side was more concave. Now they're uh, a little bit more symmetrical. We're gonna go ahead and address a little bit of the remaining concavity here, um, and uh, she's gonna love it. I just wanna show you, now that we've finished with a couple of maneuvers, which is a right caudal septal extension graft, a left spreader graft, you can see how straight the nose is, whereas before there was a little bit of uh, indentation over here, and now it's nice and narrow. We're gonna work a little bit on the tip, and uh, that'll bring it all together. All right, the nose is closed now. She's definitely uh, gonna be very happy with this. Very nice, feminine, soft contour, the angle between the nose and the upper lip. The tip is lifted, not droopy. She has this super tip break and the profile line is very, very smooth. Uh, you can see that the contours are nice and smooth. The tip really blends very, very well with the rest of the nose. Very pr appropriately proportional. And this area is not too wide. Nice and smooth. It's gonna be great. Uh -huh.